Hello everyone. Today is Saturday, March 5th, 2022. Yagua Bongor Bridge. Cameroon recruits young engineers to benefit from technology transfer. This article is taken from Invest in Cameroon. Emmanuel Ngano Jumesi, the Minister of Public Works, MINTP has just launched a call for applications for the recruitment of young engineers to benefit from the transfer of technology as part of the project to build a bridge over the Lagone River linking Yagua, Cameroon, and Bongor, Chad. This recruitment, explains the member of the government, is part of the agreement concluded between the states of Cameroon and Chad to develop local expertise in the construction of engineering structures. The Cameroonian and Chadian administrations must make available to the group of companies in charge of the works, Razel Cameroon, Razel Beck, Sotokog, so whatever that means, eight young civil engineers, that is four Cameroonians and four Chadians. Once recruited, the Cameroonian and Chadian engineers will be integrated into the team of the consortium responsible for the execution of the works where they will assist for a period of approximately three years renewable if necessary until the end of the works to the different phases of the construction of the bridge linking the two countries. To apply, you must have a maximum of two years of professional expertise. Expressions of interest must be submitted in both countries by March 31st, 2022. 620 meters, which is 2,034 feet long, this infrastructure is the second of its type to be built between the two countries after the Gweli Bridge, which connects the towns of Kuseri in Cameroon and Jamena, the Chadian capital. The construction work on the bridge over the Lagone, which will last 36 months, has been entrusted to the construction Razo uh, excuse me, consortium, Razo Cameroon, Razo Fayat Sotkoko, the board of directors of the African Development Bank approved in May 2020 the granting of a grant of 40 million euros, 26.2 billion Central African francs to Cameroon and Chad for the construction of this book. And this is uh, the second uh, training, type of training uh, of civil, future civil engineers, which are extremely necessary and sought after on the African continent, because as we all know, most of our construction work is done by foreigners. So now there is a push to, uh, to uh, have uh, civil engineering projects, which are the most necessary thing or one of the most necessary items on, on the African uh, continent, as well as uh, mines, uh, knowing how to, um, uh, to to uh, mine for for precious metals, etc., as well as petroleum, etc. So, similar. All these are all similar uh, projects that are uh, that in, uh, entail much training and and a lot of experience. And uh, which uh, the uh, these uh, capabilities, are, as we all know, are not available. Uh, indigenously on, on the uh, African continent. So this is nice to hear that uh, Cameroon and Chad will be producing eight 
between the two countries. Uh, future civil engineers that will be br building bridges, well, at least they'll be able to build bridges. And um, as similar to something I re uh, uh, covered, if not yesterday, the day before yesterday, uh, an article from uh, the Ivory Coast, I'm pretty sure, uh, which is not too far from Cameroon. Um, and they have just opened a school for civil engineering. And um, so I predict, and to be conservative, I predict in 10 years, uh, Africans will be building their own highways, bridges, uh, etc.